It is 12 minutes to five. Uh, let us just um, turn our attention to a story that, well, this has rumbled on for a long time, but I'll tell you why it's grabbing the news at the moment. There's an international meeting starting in London today calling for the Parthenon marbles once known as the Elgin Marbles, but we don't say that anymore, to be returned to their Greek homeland. They've been on display in the British Museum for hundreds of years. Very beautiful they are too. After they were brought back to the UK by Lord Elgin in the 19th century, not sure that he cared too much whether the Greeks were upset by that or not. That's part of the problem. The meeting is being led by the Australian founder of the first committee for the restitution of the marbles, Emmanuel Camino. Now, Thomas Andronos is a freelance journalist in Melbourne who's been covering this story. The Australian connection, it's, uh, it's quite important, isn't it? It's quite a large Greek community. And this man, you know, he felt it was part of pride to bring him back. Well, he did. Good morning, Giles. Um, uh, Mr. Comino has been campaigning on this trail since the uh, late 1970s when he took his first trip to Greece. Um, he established the Australian Committee for the Restitution of the Parthenon Marbles in 1981, and he's been pushing very hard since then. Now, uh, my understanding is that this is the first international meeting uh, of, of committees of this type. There are going to be committees represented from Australia, of course, as well as South Africa, um, the USA, and of course, it's being hosted by the UK Committee at the Hellenic Centre in London. Some of the prominent speakers include uh, Mr George Bizos, who, of course, famously defended uh, Nelson Mandela. Uh, as well as uh, a litigation lawyer from America, Mr. Michael Repus, who's, uh, who will present at the, um, the colloquy or the conference today. Uh, his contention will be around the steps or what steps may be taken through the courts to force the British Museum to return the Parthenon marbles to Greece. Uh, basically, he's talking about suing the British government. Uh, the exact details of that case are being kept under wraps, of course, so as not to let too much out. But it's expected that the crux of the case would lie in amending the British Museum Act of 1963 to remove any legal impediment to the marbles being repatriated to Athens. Um, do you sense from the sort of British Museum point of view that things have shifted? It used to be, well, they're here now and that's that, uh, to... Yes, uh, obviously, ultimately, Greece ought to have them back, but at the moment we're worried about conservation in place. And, where is, and is that being worn down? Um, can you see from this, from, 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 in, in terms of this debate? Well, I'm not convinced that the conservation argument is an argument anymore, given that the uh, Acropolis Museum in Athens was established three years ago. It's been named one of the best museums in the world. It is, therefore, more than capable of taking care of these marbles. However, the view of the British Museum is that, uh, and um, Neil McGregor, who's the director of the British Museum, is on record as saying in Athens they can be part of a Greek story and in London they can be part of a world story. Um, that, uh, that argument, of course, is being uh, essentially cast aside by um, the people who want these, these marbles repatriated. Uh, they're saying that Athens is their right, rightful home and that's where they should be. Um, in terms of uh, you know, support for the, the cause, of course, you'd be aware that uh, actors along the lines of Stephen Fry and others have thrown their weight behind the, uh, the debate. Of course, there was the, um, the debate, um, the Intelligence Square debate recently where the uh, vote yes. was in favour 384 to 125 of restitution. Now, um, if that's any reflection of, of public sentiment, then uh, that's a pretty big swing. Can you can you see this? Uh, you know, it it's, it seems to be on that point where it's starting to turn, and then I guess when the museum finds it's the itself the only ones defending it, it probably will have. You, can you see this happening soon? Well, I mean, uh, the people that I've spoken to from within the conference uh, say that you know it's not 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 expected to happen. You know, now before the Olympic Games, which it's been sure. good time to coincide. You know, with the the Olympic Games in London and also with the third anniversary of the opening of the Acropolis Museum in Athens, they're not expecting it to happen overnight. But they are expecting it to, to gain sort of uh, uh, gravity or or momentum in the coming years. They're planning to uh, repeat this colloquy each year uh, until essentially the uh, the marbles are returned uh, to Athens, and the following year they'll have a celebration colloquy. So no pressure then. <laughs> Thomas, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thomas Andronas is a freelance journalist in Melbourne. And uh, yeah, that pressure's building for those marbles.